What's going on everybody? This is Blockchain Bulls and today we're going to go over how to use Uniswap. I'm going to use the Coinbase wallet. I'm going to use the Trust wallet, show you guys how to connect the wallet and that's what we're going to do. So if you've been looking forward to learning about Uniswap and buying these ERC20 tokens, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to need to do is go into the App Store and download Uniswap Pro. You'll see right here, it says UniPro, Uniswap Exchange. This is the one that you're going to use in this particular instance. Then you're also going to search for the Coinbase wallet. So once you've downloaded the Coinbase wallet, that's a great start. There is a little bit of setup to using the Coinbase wallet. I can make a video for that at a later date. But once you've got all the apps that you've got set up, now let's go ahead and start connecting the wallet to the Uniswap exchange here, opening Coinbase wallet right here. And you can see down here at the bottom where the arrows are, that's how you know it's connected because you will see your public address right there. Here's the wallet, how to fund. How do we get the funds in there? So what I'm going to show you guys how to do is either deposit ether here with the public address or what you can also do is transfer from your Coinbase account pretty easily. So you can do that, send $100, $200. Since these are basically lotto ticket tokens, a lot of these, you're probably not gonna wanna send too much. You never know, these are high risk, high reward kind of tokens typically. So now we will search for the token here. You can see I've already got a bunch of tokens that I've already bought. Here. Trying to find the token and it's not necessarily in this list, I can also go down at the bottom and change the list. So I can try one inch Aave token list, and then I can actually type in where it says search name or paste address for the specific token that I'm looking for. But you can see lots of lists have various different tokens available. So let me show you guys how to search for one. So API three right here, right? Oh wow, it's not in the Uniswap default list. So now I have to go to one of these other lists. All right, now I'm in CoinGecko's list. All right, API3, oh look, it's there, and I already have my balance. So if you can't find one of those tokens, just browse the list. All right, so there's API3 and ETH. Now we're gonna go over how to actually buy. So in this case, I'm actually going to search for a token called Rarible. If you guys don't know what Rarible is, you guys can do some research, but I'm buying that in this specific instance for sake of training. So I'm going to put the amount of ETH that I'm willing to spend in there. I'm buying about 48, but because of fees, I'm gonna lower that to 47 because there's always a minor fee that comes out to about $4 typically, sometimes more or less. I'm gonna hit confirm swap, saying that I'm buying 47, which was almost max, my total amount of ETH, $4.07 for a minor fee, total of $98. So now I'm going to wait for this process to occur and complete. It takes about four to five minutes for the tokens to appear. And then I'll go in there and there they will be. All right, here they are. I'm gonna show you guys the transaction details. You can see view on block explorer. It'll give you even more information on etherscan.io and you can go over all the details there. So now I'm gonna show you guys how to use the Trust Wallet, which is just an alternative to Coinbase. If you don't wanna use the Coinbase Wallet, you can also use this Trust Wallet. You can see I have a balance in here also of just some extra tokens. And uh, I actually use this one for Theta because Coinbase Wallet doesn't even have a Theta, but same kind of deal. You can go through here and add the coins that you want to uh, deposit. Trust Wallet or Coinbase Wallet, both are really cool um, to use. I personally prefer Coinbase Wallet. I think it's just a little bit uh, better interface, but not all the coins that I wanna use are on there. All right, so now I'm gonna show you guys how to use Wallet Connect and connect your Trust Wallet here. You can see everything I circled there. Once you've done that, give it a second to connect. Hit connect. Now don't exit out of this browser here when you're trying to configure it, okay? So now you go back into Uniswap. You can see at the bottom left, you are connected. You can select search for tokens. You can go through here and go through the list. You can see I have the CoinGecko list right here. If I wanted to actually change that, it's pretty easy to do. I can go through another list and check out one inch. 
Uh, so if I'm looking for a specific token here, ETH V should be here. Let's see. Yep, there it is. So if I wanted to buy ETH V, there you go, just in a different list with one inch. They have transaction settings here with the slippage tolerance. So that's pretty cool. And if you guys wanted to actually buy Bitcoin through this or any sort of coin, you can do that uh, on Uniswap here by clicking the bottom right hand corner there. I have not actually used this feature, but you can do that. You've got to agree to terms. So I don't have any experience doing that, but you guys can try that uh, buying Bitcoin here on the Uniswap app through Hex coin, uh, Hex toys as they like to call it. But uh, yeah, so thanks for watching this tutorial on Uniswap. Let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments and I'll try to answer them. And thanks to everyone who's been subscribing to Blockchain Bowls.